in order, I think, to really have a forest, you have to have a lot more pieces. So you have to have trees of different ages, different species. Um, uh, you have to have an understory with a lot of shrubs and ferns like we've got here. Um, the soil needs to be healthy and supporting a lot of life. Um, there's got to be uh, dead trees as well that are decomposing. There's got to be wildlife. So all of those components to me have to be in a forest to make it a functioning, healthy forest. So, yeah. And this is an awesome example of where we are because uh, we've got maple trees and um, alders and hemlocks and Douglas firs and ferns and moss and wildflowers and all sorts of good things all around us. So, and, um, and uh, dead trees. So I think this is a great example of a forest. <laughs> I first got when I got my first Nikon camera uh, the first not quite the very first picture I took but on the first roll before I'd taken a mushroom class I took a picture of a mushroom because I was already naturally attracted to mushrooms and that was what really got me started into appreciating the complexities of the forest because as I learned about mushrooms and learned about this incredible symbiosis called mycorrhizae and how Mushrooms don't always just grow from decaying material in the forest floor, but are actually intimately living with the roots of the trees and getting nourished by the trees. That's what really got me excited about studying mycology and that specific aspect of mycology. Uh, I'd say it's really significant to not have forest filtering the water. Um, it, I mean, it's definitely been shown that on private land where there's no stream buffers or very little in the way of stream buffers, those st the streams that run through that land and go out into the bigger rivers have significant problems with sediment. I think 80% of Oregonians get their drinking water from a source that originates on public land. So we're lucky in that because if we were relying on this, you know, the streams just coming off of private land, we'd be in trouble. It would just be, well, it'd still be water, but we'd have to spend a whole lot more money um, treating it, <laughs> you know, getting, filtering out all the sediment and uh, treating it for, to get rid of the pesticides in there or um, other pollution. So the forest, um, I don't know what the economic impact is there, but I bet it's pretty big as far as, um, as far as saving society money by just letting the forest do their job and <laughs> filter the water.
Emphasizing to people that the soil is an extremely complex living system. Soil is not dirt. Soil is full of biological diversity. That Those biological functions are what sustain forests. Trees don't grow out of thin air. Trees need air, trees need light, and trees need the living soil for them to live as a forest. And all this amazing complexity working together through webs of symbiosis. Especially on steep, steep ground and certain types of soil, once you cut the trees, um, it just all erodes away because you know those roots were holding everything together, the roots of both the trees and all the shrubs and other vegetation, and so, yeah, so it gives it gives the weather a chance to really work on it and and wash it away, um, and yeah, some soils are different than others. So if it's really rocky to begin with, maybe there wasn't much topsoil, and uh, so it washes away faster and. Um, yeah, I think, you know, I don't know the numbers, but, you know, soil takes, you know, you know, maybe a foot of topsoil probably takes centuries to build up and probably could wash away on those steep, high elevation slopes in, you know, a couple seasons with the, sto with the snow melt. Yeah, it makes a big difference. I've seen on some higher elevation um, forests that have been logged where trees aren't growing back uh, or not well. And not like, not like in a industrial timber, you know, production mode. You know, there um, there might be a few here and there, but it's just the conditions are too harsh. The soil maybe wasn't right for that sort of logging to be able to be maintained. <laughs> 